I'm going to show you how to make photorealistic textures from a single image. So I made this building from the image on the left, but what I want to focus more on is the concrete bricks. I want to make them look more realistic. So I got this image from textures.com and the resolution isn't that high. In pretty much most cases, the higher resolution of the image, the more realistic it will look. Let's jump into Blender, making sure you're in cycles and rendered mode. And let's jump into the shader editor. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the image texture color into the roughness, and I'm gonna connect the image texture color into the specular. And to gain more control of how reflective I want this texture to look, I'm going to add a color ramp to the specular and to the roughness. So press Shift A, select search, type in color, and select the color ramp and put it between the image texture and the roughness, making sure the color of the image texture goes into the factor of the color ramp. I'm gonna press Shift D to duplicate the color ramp and put it in between the color of the image texture and the specular. And I'm gonna change the color ramp sliders on the specular to decrease the reflectiveness. So as you can see, as I move the black slider towards the right, the texture gets less reflective. So I'm just gonna play around with this and get it to somewhere that I'm happy with. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And the roughness, yeah, that's cool, that's fine. I like that. Next, to add more detail to the texture, I'm gonna add a bump node and plug it into the normal of the principal shader. And I'm gonna plug the color of the image texture into the height of the bump. Now, as you can see, this is not looking good. The texture is looking too pixelated and unrealistic. To fix this, what I'm gonna do, instead of decreasing the strength of the bump node, I'm gonna keep the strength at one and I'm gonna set the distance to 0.05. And now that's already looking better and more realistic. Now you can stop here with this node setup, it will get you 85 to 90% of the results. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a subsurface modifier. So go into the properties, add modifier, select subsurface modifier. And I'm gonna set the levels of the viewport to five and I'm gonna select simple just to give it more geometry for the next step, which is to add a displacement modifier. So click on add modifier, select displacement, click on texture properties, click on new, and add our image texture by clicking here and selecting the image we are using. Go back to the modifier properties and set the coordinates to UV, and I'm gonna decrease the strength to 0.03, and this is looking good. I'm going to apply the subsurface modifier first by clicking on this drop-down button and selecting apply, and then I'm gonna do the same for the displacement. Make sure you apply the subsurface modifier first, it's very important. And if you're working on a slow computer, you don't actually have to add these modifiers. You'll get up to 80 to 90% of the results by just sticking with this note setup, and that's it. I'll see you in the next video.